Well, unseasonable temperatures here in the triad could cause some issues come spring. Brandon Banks caught up with an agricultural expert about what all of this means, especially this warm, wet spell that we're in right now, what it could mean for your plants at home. The average high temperature in the Piedmont Triad this time of the year is 48 degrees. On Sunday, we were above 70. Experts say it's days like that that could potentially cause a threat to plants when spring comes. For some plants, if, especially if the soil heats up, uh, they'll start to come out of dormancy from the winter and maybe bloom. If you're seeing more flowers bloom in January, you can blame the climate. What I've seen is the early flowering cherry trees, like a flowering apricot is one that comes out pretty early. I've seen some of those starting to bloom. Horticulture agent Leslie Peck says if the unseasonable weather continues, some plants could bloom and then not come out when spring arrives. She says if you see flowers blooming along the road, it's not necessarily the climate's fault. Roadways can actually produce enough heat to trick the plants into thinking it's time to bloom. Right now, we're in what's usually the coldest time of the year here in the Piedmont Triad. Temperatures usually start out cool, they warm up during the day, and then they drop again at night. But that hasn't been the case as of late. Just this past Sunday, we broke a record for a morning low at a mild 63 degrees. I think there could be a concern with pollinators. Peck says springtime could be a confusing time for bees and plants alike. If the flowers are blooming a little bit earlier than those pollinators are used to, there might not be food for the pollinators at the time they're looking for it, and there also might not be pollinated flowers when you need them, which means there won't be fruit later. She says while some plants might not make it, others have a chilling requirement, meaning they need a certain number of days in freezing temperatures to break their dormancy. Experts say if and when we have another freeze, you should be able to cover your healthy plants and they'll be just fine. Reporting in Winston-Salem, Brandon Bates, WXII 12 News. Brandon, thank you. And